Hello Scorpio, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message. We're going to see how your person's thinking and feeling, their next actions towards you, their intentions, and the potential outcome. So just remember that energy is fluid and the roles could be reversed and only take what resonates. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. Show me clear and honest messages. Okay, so if you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if you see a card come out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot, just so you're aware. <coughs> Excuse me. So Spirit, how does this person feel about Scorpio? How does this person feel about Scorpio? gonna say I feel like this person there's a lack of communication here um, we're getting the nine and five of swords so they could be uh, an air sign Gemini Libra Aquarius this person I feel is up at night thinking about you they're um, not sleeping because of this I feel like they there's a lot of anxiety around this connection you know the nine of swords is the card of anxiety I'm not a doctor I can't diagnose but just a lot of like what if what if what if um, sleepless nights like I said but there's also this energy of like self-sabotage here like I feel like this person um, overthinks so much to the point where it just it ruins things I'm hearing um, you know the five of swords can also be an energy of mind games where this person will say one thing but really they mean another and it's to get a reaction um, almost like as a valid like validation seeking I'm getting um, yeah this there's a lot of negative thinking patterns going on here just like racing intrusive thoughts about this connection here Scorpio um, so let's see anything else spirit about how this person feels thank you getting the two of pentacles yeah this person is just going back and forth here they're juggling something it's like it could be reaching out to you if you're not in communication with this person could just be telling you how they feel here. Let me pull on that two of pentacles. Tell me about that well, right away. Wow, the two of cups. So, wow. Yeah, this person feels really deeply about you here, Scorpio. You're also getting two, two. So you could be seeing two, two, triple two. But when my cards start to sync up, it's also spirit's way of telling me this is a significant relationship in your life. Right? This is not just, you know, a fling or what have you. This is something that teaches you and teaches them. Um, deep lessons here but yeah it's like this person they know how they feel about you this is soulmate energy right this is someone who it feels easy with you're, you feel drawn to and it's because your souls already know each other um, it's like they want to come together here with you they want to tell you but they their mind races quite a bit here um, there's a lot of self-sabotage going on so let's see their actions in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. Spirit, what actions will this person take towards Scorpio? What actions will this person take? Yeah, it's like they're even hesitant to come forward here. Like they, they were, the cards are just hesitant to come out. I feel like this person, before they do anything, they think about it. Then they think about it. Then they think about the thinking. And then they're just like, they go down the rabbit hole. There's a lot of... Um, racing racing thoughts here but wow you're getting the strength the empress and the eight of cups so this person could be a leo here or a taurus they they feel quite strongly about you here i feel like this person holds back though you know i feel like they 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 disconnect from their emotions here they because they're just and it's not even purposefully i'm getting i just feel like they're they're thinking so much they forget to just feel 
right? Mindfulness, just be in the moment and be there. Um, tell me about this Eight of Cups, please, Spirit. Yeah, see, this person is just... So again, you're getting eight, eight, you're getting the eight of pentacles, you're getting the knight of cups and the knight of wands. It's like, it's like this person wants to come forward here, but then the knight of wands is like in and out, right? It's here today, gone tomorrow. It's like they want to come forward. They want to offer you something. They, they're, they're ready to go for it. And then they start thinking about it and they start overthinking about it. And then they pull back, right? So it's really like this, it really feels like breadcrumbing. Right? It really feels like this person says one thing and then does another. And it comes from a space of, of anxiousness. I do have to say that. Right? This person could also just throw themselves into work where it's just like a distraction. Right? Material things could be a distraction as well. Um, yeah. So, you know, Scorpio, if you know this energy to be a, an in and out energy where, you know, they come back and it feels like it's good and it feels like it's going in a good space and then all of a sudden it, they switch it up and, and you don't, you can't get a hold of them or, you know, they act like they're more distant. I feel like that person is still in this energy. They feel quite drawn to you with that two of cups energy, soulmate energies. And, you know, we have multiple soulmates. I'm a firm believer in this. And some soulmates are here to just teach us these deep lessons of boundaries, self-love, self-worth, what have you. There's so many lessons to learn, right? But it just seems like, again, if you know this person to be in, in an energy where it, it feels good and then all of a sudden it doesn't, it looks like it's going to stay the same. So let's see this person's intentions. What's this person's intentions with Scorpio? person's intentions thank you whoa that's so weird but um so the nine of wands and the queen of cups like like there's deep love here there's a lot of emotion here but there's guardedness right the wounded warrior is here it's someone who has been through a lot and puts up walls to, to protect themselves right but almost like unnecessarily because there's not much going around going on around them right like it's just it's perceived threat I feel like this person has trouble going into their emotions it's not that they're there or sorry it's not that they're not there but it, it feels too risky to to open up here fully for this person tell me about this nine of wands please spirit so expect this person to still be guarded, to still kind of, you know, um, not fully go into their feelings here or not tell you. See, like the cards are even having a really hard time coming out because, yeah, because they, they're they just used to staying in their mind. We're getting the tower energy here, your your energy, Scorpio energy. Tell me more about the nine of wands. Whoa. And the three of wands. So heavy on the fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. I feel like this person's waiting for something to happen. They're waiting for something to change up right? They're waiting for just to not feel this way anymore, to not feel guarded, to not feel anxious, to not self-sabotage. They're just kind of waiting. They're like, well, just like one day I'll just, I'll be good. One day I'll just be able to like be vulnerable and, and open up and what have you, which that could be very well the case, but it doesn't just happen. You don't just wake up and have a different mindset, right? You have to work at it. You have to become aware of your fears. You have to go deep. I'm, I'm hearing like shadow work, right? Dark night of the soul. I'll post a link for both of those down below, but it just, it's, it's important to understand that it's not just going to, it's like this person sees in the distant future, like, okay, one day I'll be open and I'll be vulnerable. And like with someone like Scorpio, I'll be able to say what I need to say and it'll be all good. It's like that vision of being there is there. That desire to be there is there. But without seeing the steps, the necessary steps to take to get there, it's just like staying in the same energy, right? 
So let's see the potential outcome. What's the potential outcome here? Let me go to the other deck. So usually when I go to the other deck, it's because there's a card on the board that needs to come out again, but we'll see. Spirit, what's the potential outcome here, please? What's the potential outcome between Scorpio and this person? Thank you. So we have the Knight of Swords, the Star, beautiful. The Two of Wands, the King of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. So there is healing here. There is. I feel like what's going to go on here is there's just going to be this energy of what's best for me, right? Like kind of looking out into the world, what's going to work best for me, for you and for this person, right? Because sometimes healing needs to be done alone. It can't always be done with another person around. I do, this King of Pentacles, I'm, I'm going to pull on that because I feel like that's a, that's a separate energy here. I just feel like, yeah. There's going to be healing here, but it's going to take time because I feel like there's still walls up with this person. This could be you. It's interesting because I feel like if you're really working hard right now, especially with your finances and your career here, Scorpio, I feel like something's going to take off for you. I'm going to pull on that King of Pentacles. But in terms of this connection, I just feel like there's, there's, uh, there's something that's, that's shifting. Like I said, healing, the Knight of Wands just came out, but I'm going to put that back. Um, but it takes time. Tell me about this King of Pentacles, please, Spirit. Because the King of Pentacles is a very stable, reliable energy, someone very grounded and very financially well off. The Fool, yeah. There's something that you're going to take a, a leap of faith on here, whether it's a new business endeavor or um, a connection elsewhere that, that could, like investing in some way, stocks or something like that. Something Something's going to really bring you uh, something steady financially. But it requires a leap of faith. It requires not fully knowing the outcome. And that's like completely separate from this energy that I'm getting. Um, so let's see what comes out in the Kipper deck. Still familiarizing myself with it, but we'll see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio, please? Whoa. So we're getting courthouse and we're getting great fortune. I mean, beautiful. So there could be something legal that comes up. Um, the great fortune, I really feel, is that leap of faith here. You could work in a courthouse, this person could. You're also getting main female and coffin. Something ending here, but take that as that resonates. Let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio? Girl with a snake, charmed or used, enable boundaries. Ascending, learning and expansion, transcending, preparing for union, new phase. Poker face, taking a chance, risks and options, not showing hand, gambling. Mm -hmm. Any other messages for Scorpio? Thank you. Look at that, soulmates. Soul connection, partnership, soul contract is really standing out for me and life partner. So like, what are the deep lessons to learn here? I can't help but notice I just took that deep breath, right? Like it feels tiring. Heavy on the heart too. Healing heart, healing heartbreak, toxicity or addiction, abusive relationship. And then we got hammer sabotage and rebuild persistent working on it repairing okay so let's see spirit what messages do you have for scorpio please so we got don't stop and we got a year from now and I'm saying the situation will improve. This is really standing up for me with that King of Pentacles. So if there's something you need to take a leap, leap of faith on, I feel like a year from now, you'll be looking back and be like, I am so glad I did that because the financial abundance and stability that comes from it is really significant. Um, and I don't, like I do love readings. I don't usually pick up on career or like money, but that's really standing out for me. So if there's something you've been thinking about doing, 
like starting your own thing, I mean, like especially, I feel like there's there's uh, abundance that can come from that. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio, please? Your commitment is being tested. So this card, when this card comes out for me, I often get the feeling that there's a there's lessons being learned here, right? And the universe is asking you, like, did you did you learn? Did you really learn what you were being taught at some point, right? Like this is putting it to the test. So, you know, think of it as literally like writing a test, right? You learn like with math, you learn about formulas, you practice the homework, what have you, but then there's like the test. Did you, or do you understand the concepts to be applied? So I feel like, you know, there's a strong connection here. There is, but I feel like this person is in and out and they're not consistent. So spirit's asking you like, is like, what, what, what is it you want here? Right? Oh, cool, right away. We got, don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. And nothing is yet set in stone. And I am seeing conclusions are within reach. Okay, so let's see here. Spirit, what messages do you have for Scorpio, please? Okay, we got not for you. I am seeing soulmates at the bottom here. Was there another card that flipped? But we got not for you, number six. And the little fortune cookie there says, nope. So again, if there's mind games going on, right? I can't help but notice it's a chessboard, right? If there's been games going on with this person, like I just heard, it's not a game, <laughs> right? You also could be seeing sixes. So let's see. Some relationships carry an innate seed of failure in them that is obvious from the beginning, but the red flags escape your observation or you refuse to acknowledge them. When a relationship is not meant to be, it is not possible to make it be. Rejection is a sign that you're being protected by the divine. If you are the one who must reject another, remember that you do so for, for both your sakes. For every pot there is a lid. This one may not be the best fit. Okay, Scorpio, so this, and I feel like there's someone maybe asking, well, what about the soulmates? What about the soulmate connection? And like I said, I believe we have multiple soulmates, right? Soulmates can be friends. They can be family. They could be pets, right? But they're here to like, they're, it's like your, your soul tribe, your people that you're meant to be here with on earth, that you're meant to come into connection with. You made a soul contract before you got here right? And sometimes those soulmates are here to teach us things, right? Like you're getting a, a very clear message here. Your commitment is being tested, right? Not for you. Even the coffin now is standing out for me. And it's not to say it's, it's good or it's bad or it's right or it's wrong. It's just your journey, So these could be initials of you, this person, numbers you've been seeing, birth dates, what have you. But if something here doesn't resonate with you, it does not mean that it's not your reading. So we got O. O again. B. B again. A. N. V. Z or Z. And the number six, you're getting the number six again. So sixes could be really um, significant for you. So Scorpio, I almost called you cancer. That was strange. You could have cancer in your chart or this person could be a cancer. Um, I do hope something here resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in the comments. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn. Thank you so much for all your beautiful energy. Love and light.